very straightforward to get into the settings mode. First thing you need to do is simply switch the monitor on with the slide button on the side. And it will come up and it will show all the wheels that you have registered there. In this case, we haven't got any wheels registered on this monitor, but we can still go into the settings process. All you need to do that is simply press and hold the set button. And it will come up and it will ask you which units of measure you want to measure the pressure of the tyres in. This can either be in PSI or bar. And you can change between the two using the plus or the minus buttons. Once you've reached the one that you want to use, in this case we're going to use PSI, simply press the set button. It will then ask you which units of measure you want to use for temperature, either degrees C or degrees F. Again, plus or minus switches between the two. And once you've chosen one, you press the set button just to lock that in place. We'll then start setting the high and low alert levels for each set of axles. Set, you set the high and low pressures across an axle because each, tire, each side has the same pressure in the tyres. In this case the default is 75 psi. For demonstration purposes we'll just adjust that. Again plus and minus will take it up or down. So we'll just adjust that down to 60 for reference. And then you press set button which will take you onto the low pressure. It defaults to 30 psi so we'll change that down to 20. And lock that in place. And we'll then move on to the next axle, which depending on the layout of your vehicle, you may or may not have wheels registered to. If you don't have any wheels registered to it, you can simply press the set button to cycle through the two options and get to the next axle that you have got ones on registered on. Again here, default is 75 psi, so for demonstration purposes, we'll take that down to 60 as well. Press set to put that in place and then get the low pressure. Again, 30 psi will take down to 20. And set locks that in place. It will then move on to the towed vehicle, which as towed vehicle tyres have all the same pressure uniformly across the entire vehicle, you set one high and low pressure alert for the whole towed vehicle. So again, defaults to 75. In this case, we'll set that up a little bit. So we'll take that up to 80 and lock that in place with the set button. Default again is 30. We'll push that up as well. So 35 PSI there and set that in place. The next thing it asks you for is the temperature alert level. 70 degrees C is the default and this is fine. So you press set and that's in place and it will take you back to the beginning of the setting process. So you press and hold the set button to lock everything in place. In terms of your own tyre pressure alert levels, our recommendation is that you set your tyre alert levels 20% above and 15% below the cold inflation pressure. This then gives you a window in which your tyre power monitor can work and will allow the tyres to warm up and gain pressure during use.